Hello! Welcome! We're back! It's Sunday! Happy Sunday night! Um, we're playing some more Bioshock. Listen, we... At some point, we gotta really take a hard look at the schedule and rework it a little bit. But I was... I feel like as long as the schedule is in chaos, let's just play, <laughs> play one game every day and uh, not try to, to switch it up throughout the week. And so that's why we're back playing Bioshock on a Sunday. Soul Foundry says, Piotr! Welcome, Soul Foundry! Yeah, so we're playing more Bioshock on a Sunday. I reckon let's try to get through this game, and then we'll... You know, try to get through is, is rude. Um, but uh, let's... When we finish this game, then we'll try to reset the schedule. And Soul Foundry says, This stream in chaos? Never! Never! We would, we would never be in chaos here. Sam says, uh, Marco says, I love Bioshock. Oh, yeah? I l <laughs> I've been having a mixed, a pretty mixed time with it. Um, I think every time I have to do the uh, hacking minigame, a, a little bit of me dies. Um, but, uh, but, but, yeah. Giant Spider says, New Year, new haircut. It's true, I got my haircut. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> I thought I was going to have something else to say about that. But nope, I got my haircut. That's it. <laughs> they did an okay job. Um, when they were, where they were styling my hair at the end, they were doing something like carefully, you know, curling back this part here, and then the, the barber was like, no, that's too serious for you, and then just like messed it up again. So, I don't appear to be a serious person to the barber who was styling my hair. Brogy says, uh, Frenzy says, what a happy Sunday family, welcome! Oh, you're all my little babies, or nieces and nephews, or something. We'll have to figure out what family member to designate you as. All my uncles and aunts? That's kind of a weird vibe, right? I think chat's all my uncles and aunts. I think that's where I'm gonna settle. Are we cousins? What are we? Giant Fudger says, that's too serious for you. Pull quote for this channel. Sam the Geek says, that got creepy? It's not creepy. It's fine. <laughs> ah, here we are at the farmer's market. Okay, I just remembered what we're doing. Yeah, we're at the farmer's market. We got to... We did... Oh, we've got a, like got a bunch of items, right? We've got a bunch of crafting components, I believe. Or maybe we already did that? I think we need to, though. I think that's where we're at now. Will they tell me if I go to the tab? Escape. I... Oh, boy. I actually might need to re-organize things here. Q. One of my superpowers is for getting the controls. M for map. Every time we do this. Notes. Messages. My quest. My goals. Obtain the samples. I do not have very many of them. I need... Fifth... No. Even more than that. Fourteen. Eighteen items. Progi Frenzy says, ask if ramps are in season? And Giant Spider says, okay, ramps are good, though. Are ramps in season? Are ramps in season? Is that a, a vegetable? Wait, hold up. We gotta... We gotta take a look at this. What is... I have also... I have a little, um... My uh, sister and brother-in-law got me a little Steam Deck, a Stream Deck thing, so I should be able to switch scenes more easily, uh, but I, I think this is going to be an adjustment period here while we figure out how to actually make this thing work effectively. Not yet, mid-spring. They're like onions, if I recall correctly. Okay, is ramp like an onion? Ramps are like onions. Oh, yay, stream deck. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Okay, so this is a ramp. Ramps, how to forage and eat wild leeks. Oh, okay. They look good. They look... Storing. Ramps are only in season. Actually, I thought I was just trolling you by clicking the most random one possible, but this is extremely salient to what we're talking about. Uh, ramps are only in season for a month or so, but, for us, getting them is only half the problem. I usually come back from a good ramping trip with enough for us to eat before they go bad with a little extra to keep from eating later. Okay, so they... You've gotta freeze them. You gotta freeze them. You gotta... Once they're frozen, put them in jars. And the, remember that the greens will deteriorate when frozen. Uh, Sam the Geek says this page has so many ads. I would better be getting a piece of this, yeah. And Giant Spider says, ah, yes, a ramping trip. A ramping trip. Okay, will it work? Bam, we're back. Sam the Geek says, wait, Piotr has a stream deck? Is it the one with the knobby knobs? No, it's one with just, I can probably show it on camera. It's just got six little buttons. And the, the transition, I tried to have one button be transition scenes, but it didn't work. So they just queue up the different scenes. Then I have to press a button on my keyboard to, to transition. It's a, it's a work in progress. It's so cute. Yeah, it's nice though actually. It's it's kind of it's it's nice and small and and and, and usable. 
Okay, so here we are. So we're at the farmer's market. We're gonna ask the man if ramps are in season. One button for search in Bing? Yeah, it's there. We got, it's called Window 2, but historically Window 2 has always been Microsoft Edge. That's where I came from. There's my, my tube. Oh, good, they got Wolverine. <laughs> Something very chaotic is happening here. Chad Fletcher says we can ask about scapes in addition to ramps. How are there so many vegetables I've never heard of? Or are these just like folksy <laughs> farmer's market ways of saying commonly known vegetables? What happened here? Whoop. Get me out of there. Wait! V to hack. Start the hacking minigame. Okay. Let's do it. Our favorite part of the game. Let's hack. Can I please click more faster? And then we need a boy who's gonna take me to the side, like this boy. We'll go up from here. Do a little bit of that. Oh, uh, I can fix this. A little bit of this. One of those. Why not some of that? And then a bit of those. And we are puzzle geniuses. Great. Progy Frenzy says, we found a market with pawpaws in Virginia. I feel like I'm being trolled. A pawpaw can't be a real thing. And Sam the Geek says they're only in season for one month a year, so few people actually make recipes with them and they don't show up in grocery stores. Stores only stock things they can get consistently. That kind of makes sense. I grew, um, a lettuce once that you can't really get in stores for kind of that reason. Okay, well I got shot in the back by my new friend. Bit of a, bit of a bummer. I should have taken the Eve hypo. Uh, yeah, we grew deer tongue lettuce, but I think that's not because it's not in season often. I think it doesn't travel well or something. Um, Giant Spider says, I was reminded there's a hacking mini game in Nier Automata, so now I, I still want a only hacking mini game stream. Man, I was looking at, okay, for reasons that don't bear going into, I was setting up the PS3, uh, yesterday? Recently. Yesterday. Uh, and I took a long, long look at the Nier box, and I said, do I want to play Nier on the PS3? And I think the answer is no, but it crossed my mind. Not Nier Automata, not the good one. We got Eve Link 2. Get more Eve with every first aid kit by using new Eve Link 2. Okay, put that in... What's Hacker's Delight? I get a little juice every time I do a hack. That's fine. Soulfinder says pawpaws are legit. I don't know. Rubber hose. Okay, vending machine. Do they have the well, things that I need? No. Value. Hack only to buy film. Invent <laughs> items? Okay, remember that we're trying to build the Lazarus Vector. Chance Vector says they re-released Nier and made it better to play, so I extremely suggest not playing it on the PS3. Okay, I remembered hearing something like that. Is there a secret tunnel? No. Got this. No, 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 no! Quick, 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 quick! Get him! Wait! Wait! It didn't work! Then he exploded! I don't know what's happening. Get out of there. That happens a lot in this game. Just, I'll be overwhelmed by things interacting with each other. Just let it all play out for a little bit. And, you know, then go... Whoop! Going great. It's going great. Progy Frenzy says, uh, pawpaws are the only tropical fruit native to the continental USA, if I recall correctly. Okay, I gotta know. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to come to pawpaws searching, but we gotta know. We gotta know. I gotta just know. What is a pawpaw? Pawpaw fruit. Can't type without looking at the keyboard. And oh, oh, you meant an ismini chiloba. I would have known if you'd called it by that name. Oh, gross. They're like a pear with only four seeds. 
The four seasons. No, sometimes they have five. Uh, Unwise says, I've always wanted to try a pawpaw. And Giant Spice says, Giant's goal is always to derail the stream as soon as possible. We're speed running off the rails. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. What zones does pawpaw grow in? Five to eight. Uh, okay, hot summers and cold winters. So we could probably... What? I, I think we could... Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. United States growing zones map. Map, map. Take a look at this picture. Uh, okay. Yeah! It, it would be tough, but I could probably grow some a pawpaw tree. Um, let's say, can you grow pawpaws, pawpaws from seed? Because sometimes you can't. Like with citrus, if you grow it from seed, you'll get something horrible. Um, they're not that good, lol. Okay, good to know. Uh, and Sam the Geek says, you should look up the new golden kiwis that are all the rage. All right, we'll take a look at that in a second. And Soul Foundry says, do we think we can make it back to the Sonic Wiki by the end of tonight? We can add a Bioshock-themed character. I do love the Sonic fan wiki. What a find. And Giant Spatcha says, I bet 100 Light Snacks there's already a Sonic Bioshock character. We gotta mash those games up more often in the pop. They gotta put... No, Sonic's in um, Mr. Nintendo's big fighting game, not in... Uh the real one, the original one, uh, PlayStation All-Stars has Big Daddy, but it doesn't have Sonic. And then the Nintendo ripoff game has Sonic, though. So I guess that would never... What I'm trying to say is, could Sonic fight Bioshock Man in a video game? <laughs> I think the answer... <laughs> I think the answer is no, unfortunately. Um, yes, you can grow pawpaws from seeds. They're worth growing from seed. And now we look at a golden kiwi. Golden kiwi! Bummer. Maybe we could mod Sonic into PlayStation All-Stars. I bet that would probably be the easiest way to do it. <laughs> they look good. I don't remember why I'm looking at these, other than Sam the Geek recommended it. How, what are the health benefits like? I love these websites. I love, anytime I eat anything, I love to Google, like, plum health benefits. <laughs> Just find out what kind of vitamins and stuff I'm getting, so I can fully enjoy um, the placebo effect. The stems and bark... Feel like not what I want to eat, but okay, good to know. Um, health benefits, it prevents dehydration. Okay, because it has water. Avoids high blood tension. Okay. Shields you from vision loss, improves blood flow, and protects you from diabetes and some other good things, like um, cures asthma. Cures asthma! <laughs> cures asthma! I feel like I, we would have heard about that, but maybe. Rich composition of vitamin C and antioxidants inside a gold within tree kiwi treats asthma patients better. 2000 research discovers the regular consumption of other fruits, which include kiwi, <laughs> other fruits, not the fruits you're thinking of. You got to eat other fruits, which include kiwi creates a positive effect on the lung functions. Among children, kiwis also reduce the occurrence of wheezing. There you go. Okay, we learned something spurious. So that's good. So Foundry says plums definitely have sorbitol, which is not a placebo effect. All right. Okay, we gotta know. Plum, health, benefits. Oh, plum, sorbitol? Sorbitol. Sorbitol, health, effects. Is a sugar alcohol that is used as a sweetener and a laxative. Oh, got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are plums prunes? Are plums prunes? <laughs> They're not, right? A prune is a date. They're not the same things. <laughs> okay, good to know, good to know, good to know. Um, <laughs> Sam the Geek says the benefit of kiwis are that they contain water. True! That probably is one of the main things. And why it says big inhaler <laughs> is keeping kiwis secret. I should have known! Oh. Okay, this game. Okay, I'm I see the camera. That's the thing that I keep not noticing when I need to notice it. And I need to jump and hack. Do the old jump and hack. Oh, send that down, please. Thank you very much. Is there going to be something annoying in the way? No, so I can just kind of hang out, do this puzzle at my leisure. Just procrastinate. Let's just see the rest of these. We never do this. You know, we never take the time to see the rest of these. We got time. Yeah, I'll buy a little bit more time even. All right. And we can pick. Let's organize them. 
into our favorite. So all the pieces that could win this for us, we'll put up here, and then when we need it, we'll just go grab it real quick. Um, so I'll need... Is that all of them? No, there's one here. And then we'll put all the Bendy Boys together just so that they're organized. Um, like that. And then I guess we'll start a second row. Um, yeah, let's start doing these ones that bend down now. We'll do some of those here. Oh, I missed one of these. That's okay, though. Um, bending down. Oh, shoot. You know what? This is gonna really throw me off here. Okay, bending down, bending down, bending down. This uh, is supposed to go here, too. We've got to put... We'll start a new area for this. That's too serious for you. That's too serious for you. The machine is sword circuited. I forgot to put the piece in. I swear I didn't do that on purpose. I actually thought the puzzle was done. Okay. Let's try this again. I forgot. That's on me. I thought I was so funny trolling the game. Okay, here we go. Let's do this right this time. No monkey business. Uh, not quite sure why I said that in such a weird way. Oh, we just need one more piece, and it's this boy here, and that looks like we're finished. Bam! Hack successful! Okay, now the cameras are on our team. Crucially. The automatic Japanese sliding doors are in effect. Um, great. A lockbox. I will search that again and take the same thing. Thank you. It's weird. It seems like some of these... Maybe I'm just rolling the same items when I when I re-roll the stuff that's in there. Why would there be a light bulb under here? What is it for? Um, but it seems like maybe some of the items are, are locked in, in terms of what they have. Some of the containers. Please. No? Uh oh. We ran out of time to make the hacking work. Oh, he's here! Okay, but first let's do the safe. Oh, more hacking! Let's do it. Okay, first thing we gotta do really quick is that. Great. Please do not. You dicks. I got, I got owned. Alright, we gotta go press a button. Somewhere. Has anybody seen a bot shut off? I kinda hate this game. <laughs> I kinda... <laughs> little, little things like this make me, um... That's not a bot shut off. Where can I turn off the robots? <laughs> Where is that going to be? Hmm. Robot turn off switch. I got 20 seconds. Should we consult the map? It says bot shut down up the stairs that are directly behind me. Or down the stairs? There should be multiple. Okay. Turn around. Down the stairs. There should be a bot shut down, like, right here. Or, right here? I should be looking at it right now. It's upstairs. Bit of a bummer. I only got three seconds to get there. Easy peasy. Don't forget that that um, safe is there, too. Okay, there are guys that need to be dead. Seize this. Hello. Sir? You done? You're finished. We'll go clean up all this stuff in a second. Okay, lots of stuff to pick up. We have a bit of a, uh, admittedly chaotic approach to this game. 
run in, spray bullets over the enemy's heads. You know, get them real good and scared. Oh. Let's first of all drink the juice intravenously. No? I hear the big boy. Big Mr. Daddy Bioshock. Soulfoundry says, that's really this game though, I think. That's how I played it. A lot of dying spray and pray even more. A lot of spray and pray. It's true. Uh, I'm, so I'm, the reason I'm researching a lot of these dudes is because like, we're looking for those particular items. And so I just, e even if it's like something kind of good, I'm re-rolling just to try to get this specific, specific stuff we need. But with no, uh, to no effect, it would seem. Maybe this is not the way to do it. Does everybody still remember the safe? I remember. What are the things that I need out of interest? Distilled water, chlorophyll, and enzyme samples. Okay. I hear people making people noises. Who's making people noises? There you are. No, I should not stand in the water when I do this. Oh, he's got the chlorophyll. Fantastic. We're one step closer of 15 steps. Do I have a flashlight? No, don't press F. That's a first aid kit. Narrowly avoided wasting a, a first aid kit there. Uh, let's go open that safe. Hello, Daddy. Where's your uh, little baby child? Did we already get her? Sisters? No, she's here somewhere. She's just an unaccompanied minor. F is for first aid. Oh, it's such a good way to remember. Excuse me, sir. Or madam. Oh, we got more chlorophyll. It's going great. Where's your um, little baby person? And this is the genie boy? Nope. Nope. Not right now. We'll take. We'll we'll fuss with our genes later. But I just felt overwhelmed immediately and just said no. Sometimes you just gotta say no to gameplay. You know. dollar okay ready hacking and this time press all the stupid idiot buttons before in case they're trolling us oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god we gotta be quick though no 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 okay we can do this all the pieces are here and that's why we're the best in the biz boom the Ultra Bizzles, hacking, and removal of free things. Company. And son. Girl loves grapes. Okay, do we see... Ooh, a creme-filled cake. Where's that security camera? Okay, I got it. He said, looking not where it was. Who sees it? Oh, God. Ooh, hello. Yes, it's me. I'm here to get killed. Why? Why don't run? Why don't run? Why I'm so slow? Oh my god. Look, I know where the thing is now, so just... Oh, no I don't. Bummer. 
Now I gotta pay some money. Oh, she's here. Where is she? I see him. Oh, there she is. Okay, so do we want to do this? Is there a way we can get this person into, like, a fight? Oh. Did I piss it off by pointing the gun at her? How do we do this? How do we approach this? I mean, we know, right? We go, make sure we've got a place to run to. Hello. Nope, not anti-personnel. Just regular flavor would be fine. Good. More? Here he comes. We're gonna be in trouble in a second. Easy! Oh wait, let's do this this thing first. Let's press L. Oh, a textbook. I mean I used like all my minds, but still. Pretty good. Honestly. Could have gone worse. Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Thank you for helping me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take your fifty-two dollars as a reward. So Fender says, "Great job!" Oh, thank you. The first time we've been competent ever. Isn't there a healing me machine about somewhere? Oh, I can. And I can also hack him. Don't really want to, but what was his name again? Fernando? I think is the canon name of the security bot, which surprised me, but you know, there you are. Well, let's actually do this a, a touch different. Uh, sure. The healing machine is on my right. Okay, cool. We'll go peek at it. Do you think we can go all the way around this? Oh, I need more down pieces. No, yeah, we can do this. Nice. Fernando! The healing machine is on my right. Ah, yes, I see. Should we hack it? Ooh, better song. Fernando, Abba, or Alejandro, Gaga. I'm an Alejandro man, I'll be real with you. I can't, I can't hold any more electric buck. Is it a problem that I'm stealing all the ammo from the robot that I want to fight on my team? Seems fine. This goes down and down and down and down. And then we do a one of those, and we finish it off with... Oh no, not like this. One of these. Great. Double Fernandos. Sammy Geek says, just listen to the song Exploder about Hung Up. Ma Exploder about Hung Up, Madonna, which is on the same axis. Is it a good axis? It's a good axis. Okay, things are fighting and exploding. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Hey man, let's go back over here. Oh yeah! Oh, we blew up the security camera though, right? So we can loot it now. Look at all those wheels of cheese. Get some kerosene. Oh, let's hack another safe. Okay, just remember we gotta be really careful because they're gonna bone us here. Shoot, 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 shoot. I can fix this. Oh. Please. Yaw is best access, <laughs> says Pierogi Frenzy. I do love Yaw. We don't get to play enough games where we control Yaw, IMO. We could play like Simple Planes or something. Then we would get to. 
Why do I hear another big daddy? Sam Geek says MSFS, Microsoft Flight Simulator, if you have the drive space. I don't. I think you need like a you know like one of those computers that's as big as a whole room to play that game. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty I'm pretty close to positive. Nope. Picking up all kinds of... Ooh, a crawl space door. There's a secret tunnel. Devocator says, I'm su so surprised you've never done Microsoft Flight Simulator. It could be fun. I did like when we played, um... Oh, Prototype and ran around New York. So maybe I would like flying around the world in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Xbox can do it poorly. Interesting, interesting. Okay, should we go through the secret tunnel? Not really getting anything great here. We should maybe buy some first aid kits if we see a good opportunity to. Hello. Robots, do the thing. Fernandos. Flanker. Oh my god, they did. Evocator says, I take a bite take a bite out of the moldy cheese wheels. Could mutate you, that's a good call. Um. I'll tell you one thing, it's very can I psychic pick it up? No, it's a bummer. You should be allowed to psychic pick it up. I wanna throw cheese at people, like in Dead Space. You remember, when you use the physics gun to throw the wheels of cheese in Dead Space? I guess you don't throw them at people though, so it's not really the same. You try to throw them at necromorphs. Totally different thing going on. Hello. Did he just kill somebody? That we need to loot? Hello, my friend. Ah, potato chips. Delicious. Uh, Sam Geek says, Progi Frenzy, a mangrove swamp is several trees. Oh, sorry. Uh, but does MFSS ex render the exact tree our coworker crashed into? Oh, true! Yeah, we gotta... That would be a very fun place to visit. Uh, An evocator says, in retrospect, the chain tattoos on your wrist are a little overwrought. A little bit. I should get those, IRL. Then, people would be... You know, if we normalized it, people would go back and play Bioshock and say, Oh, that's kind of a regular thing, actually. Because I saw that famous streamer Piotr Bizzle has chain tattoos just like that. Okay, where are these areas? I didn't even see these. Is that you? Dad? Somebody said dad. Sure. Sam Geek says, M knows someone with the chain tattoo. Really? That's kind of cool, actually. Especially, I don't know if it's meant to be a direct reference to this game, but that would be cool if it was. Okay, so is it here that I haven't gone yet on the old Mippy map? Hello. Gotta be quicker than that. You gotta wake up way earlier than that, boyo. I'm just telling you. He owned that dude. It was almost kind of sad. TBH. Alright, does anybody have any more of the mangrove juice or whatever it is we need to make the special vector? Semgeek says M says it's a direct reference. Oh my word. That is kind of cool. Okay, that's I'm on board. Rangoet, hello! Welcome! Uh, should we enter the code or hack this boy? Some people previously asked why the phonetic mnemonic system is so powerful. Uh, they said, I because I just had to remember a, a four-digit code, and they were like, and we came up with a mnemonic for it, and people were like, why would you do, why wouldn't you just remember the number? But here's the deal, I remember the number from, from like a week ago when we played this last, because we had the mnemonic boar-like 
because you're supposed to visualize a pig man, and we said boar-like, and boar-like, it's not gonna be the password for this, unless it's the same password, um, but is nine, four, five, seven. It's not gonna be this one, because it's probably, I imagine a different password, but the one that we had before was nine, four, five, seven. And we remembered a week later, all thanks to remembering a pig man, I am vindicated. Incorrect code was entered. Redwood says, just watch Bullet Train. You'd like it, Piotr. Amazing action comedy where a man calls people Thomas the Tank Engine characters. I, I, I should watch that. That has been on my eye. Progy Frenzy says, man, woman, person, camera, TV. Oh, that's interesting. What does that spell? Man, woman, person, camera, TV would be what? Three, two... W isn't really one, so it'd be three two three two nine four zero two seven three four TV uh one eight. That's per man woman person camera TV. If we ever find that code, we'll know exactly what mnemonic to use for it. Uh, let's actually do not hack. No, let's just hack. Just use an auto hack. Because I feel like the password's gonna be a hard one to do. Electric gel. Oh my god, I can use that for my electric hair. Brody <laughs> Frenzy says, my social security number? Oh yeah! Anyway, I bet that was thrilling content to just hear me say a string of numbers. Um, you're welcome. That's the kind of stuff you can expect on this channel. All right, let's get out of here. Hello, sir. It's weird that the big daddies respawn. I actually don't know if I like that. To me, a little bit goofy, but it is what it is. Okay, we gotta go up and to the left here, right? Uh, oh, electric buck. Rangwet says, but especially since it's your genre, Piotr, it has a style of comedies I picked up you like. Uh, I picked up you like long-form jokes, comedic motif things, a completely convoluted, insane story full of silly twists, and obviously just good comedy stuff. I can get into it. The old movie has a very good action train scene right at the beginning. We're gonna do it. We're gonna switch to... Wait. Uh, the, it's a Korean movie called The Good, The Bad, and The Weird, which is a sweet Korean western in 1930s... Manchuria, and there's a bomb-ass action scene on a train right at the beginning. Oh, from 2008. There you go. Sam the Geek says, uh, comedy, like the security robots continually colliding. Uh, and Rengwet says, interesting, like the name. It is actually, I think it is pretty good. Um, I, I like this one when I watched it. Not all of the comedy quite translates, but there are some very cool characters. This guy is, is dangerously cool. Um, and very good action scenes, and yeah, people speak a whole bunch of different languages in this movie. They speak uh, Chinese and Japanese and Korean because it's in Manchuria and a bunch of different groups were all active in that area in the 1930s. So there you go. It's also a fun little history, a slice of history. Okay. Where are we going? According to my map, not here. Okay, I got to go around the corner and then I'll my bad. The one place I haven't gone. Oh, they got a bee. A bee, an apiary. Rangwet says, oh man, it's poster. Reminds me of Bullet Train, actually. I gotta watch Bullet Train. Sam the Geek says the gang tries to colonize Manchuria. Do, 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 do. A man must have standards. The pathetic trudicu done at Morley Winery has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is still. That could be worse. I could take it right from the ocean. That didn't work. I guess that was oil and not water. I would... Yeah. Progi friends, <laughs> I'm offended by whatever this accent is. Okay, okay, so we got choices, right? We could go to where the bees are, or we could go to some other stupid idiot place. So let's go where the bees are. Hello. Get some of that delicious uh, mercury. Oh, there's honey. Gene bank. 
beehive. Oh, they do not like it when you search their hive. Quick, robots, shoot the bees! Uh, Giant Spider says, I saw someone on Twitter suggesting that the Always Sunny gang be cast in the Fantastic Four movie, and I would like to second that idea. That is a phenomenal idea. I would, I would watch that. Yeah, because you could, yeah, the, the genders are right too. It would totally work. Purchase bees, please. Insect swarms. We got it. Put it in the technesis slot. Unleash insects against groups of enemies. Uh, Rangwat says Attack also what you'd probably like is it has a murder mystery coming. feel. I do love a murder mystery. Um, not exactly a murder mystery as you don't wonder often about a murderer, but it has the mystery, but also it just kills off characters, which is especially good because they have big moments where their titles appear in crazy distinct outfits that can die at any moment. Rangwat says my favorite being when you see this guy's like big dramatic backstory and he looks serious and important and dies straight away when he gets on the train lol. <laughs> I do like that. That is a good... Ah, uh, I, I love a good fake out. Um, all right. Oh, wait. I, I, it's Adam, right? Okay, so let's also buy a plasmid slot, or... You take less damage from fire and inflict more damage when you use fire. No, plasmids use less Eve. That actually might just be nice to have. Let's just get another a, a combat tonic slot. Oh, and I don't have a, a thing for it. I wish I knew which slot these were going to go in when I bought them, because it's a little bit of a secret. Like, I have combat tonic slots, but I don't know which... Anyway, probably static discharge is combat tonic, right? So we'll put it there. No? Wait. Did I F this up already? Gene bang. Yeah. And that's my only one. Okay, so the thing that I really need more of is engineering tonic slots. Got it. Rangwitz is not exactly my genre, but I did really like Bullet Train, and I will never see Thomas the Tank Engine the same way again. Alright, we gotta check that out. There's also that uh, Thomas the Tank Engine horror game came out recently, right? We're gonna respect the bees and not search their hives. That is a lot of bees. Let me be real with you. We'll use the smoker and it'll put all the bees to sleep. Go to sleep, bees. Will my bees not work if there's smoke? Kill that woman. Fernando, do it! Bees for you! Shoot between the bees! Ah, I love those physics. Okay. Get her glue, quick. Sand Geek says there are multiple hour-long videos on the history and story of the Isle of Sodor. Please do not go down that YouTube hole. Deal. And Rigwitz is like that Winnie uh, the Pooh horror film that looks kind of shit. I have seen the trailer for that, for, for Blood and Honey. I, I honestly do know what you're referring to. And it does look a little bit like shit. But you know what? We What better way to ring in, you know, his entrance into the public domain, him being Winnie the Pooh. I think Sublime. Great concept. Looks like pretty poor execution, but we'll see. Send pieces, Peter. You're a regular Oprah. And Brokey Serenity says, I have a good quip you can use. Be careful. And then you start blasting. All right, we're going to, I will try it out. I'm on board. Vending machine. Sell me the, the stupid idiot items that I need to complete this dumb moron quest. No? Okay. Now, am I in trouble because I'm trapped by the bees? I am. Whoop! There's electricity. Uh. Bees, stop stinging me. Get the napalm. Okay, so the bees really hurt, actually. Have we run out of time? Good to know. I thought they would just... They would just let us search their hives safely. Nobody. <laughs> Let's want some. Hello. Hello. Do you like bees? I mean, okay. We gotta. We gotta decide. Do we want to 
search through all of these gosh dang uh, boxes. Yeah, we kind of have to, don't we? Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. It's going to take a while. Please go away. Uh, and Ringwitz is also on F. Thomas the Tank Engine horror stuff. You've seen those YouTube animations of him where it's like atomic bombs? I don't know that I have seen that. Enzyme sample. Oh, we need the enzyme samples. Yeah, we do gotta search this. Please stop. I don't think this section could possibly be more annoying. We have a timer. And also, we gotta search a million boxes that you can't really tell visually if they've been searched yet or not. And also, while we're searching, more pointless minions keep spawning in to shoot me in the back. And Rainbow says, even better, seeing the Thomas uh, Mecha Spider creations. There's a weirdly high amount of them. They're impressive, but so weird seeing Thomas in horror style. Okay, where is he? Please cease, cease this, what you're doing. I'm a busy guy. Spawn more enemies behind me, game. That's what I want. That's what we all want. Where's Fernando? Fernando, this is your department. Regatus or the Thomas Centipede animation? I might need to go on a YouTube, uh, a YouTube looky loo after this, just so I can enjoy the full, uh, the full scope and spectrum of Thomas the Tank Engine stuff. I this is the most annoying. Sorry, this section is super stupid. Um, <laughs> this game. Oh, it's so tedious. Go in the room and search all the things on a timer, and every time you do it, we spawn more enemies behind you. Ugh, okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. You should have let the bees kill the minions. True. I kind of tried to, but they didn't really kill him fast enough. Got the enzyme sample. Get out of there. Get out of there. And the bee plasmid can do traps, right? Oh, maybe. I should try that. I guess we've got to search this just in case it has the enzyme we need in it, but it didn't. Fine. Uh, let's save the game here while we're thinking of it. I also just need a little break from that. Just, let me just take a little five second break from a very obnoxious section of this game. All right. You need just one more. Please. Okay, we got it. We can leave. We're out. Let's leave this place and never return. I cannot leave this place. The door is locked. Raymond says, what a weird section. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. I like that they're bees. But just not a very uh, fun part to do over and over. Fontaine is the tool of the parasite. Fontaine is dead. Rapture lives. Should we? Here's the deal. There is a vending machine in there we could go hit up. Or we could double back to this one and just get some more first aid kits. Let's do that real quick. We're gonna... I'm not gonna bother with this stupid idiot bee thing again. But let's just get... Let's just get some more... Kits. I think this machine also might have been hacked previously. 
I am wrong, but we can do that now for cheaper prices at the expense of a little piece of my sanity. Uh, excuse me. Can we do that, please? And uh, -bum, we'll do that. Uh, it's probably going to need to end like that, which means we'll need this. And that looks good. <laughs> What's this hacking? Woo! My favorite part. Oh, yeah. Same, TBH. All right, we got a bunch. Let's just let's just roll. Okay, time to go to the brewery. So actually, let's let's just check on our progress real quick. So we've got, we need one more chlorophyll solution, which we were finding on like random enemies, and some water, which I guess we're also finding somewhere. All right, we'll see. I like that wine effect, actually. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it's it's cool. Like, it doesn't look realistic, I guess, but it's a nice little detail. Sam the Geek says this game feels very dated. A little bit. Some of the, uh, like, the save system feels very dated, for instance. It, in this day and age, I expect kind of checkpoints and stuff. Uh, Sam the Geek says, you'll find the water in the winery, like the man with the bad French accent said. Oh, I should have been listening to him. I try not to uh, acknowledge gross French stereotypes. I think the save system, Rangoet, is pretty dated. I think that the upgrade system just feels kind of old. Please, not like this. Okay, there's two robots here. The man with the winery, he had water to his wine! Sacre bleu! Very upsetting. Uh, yep. Mm hmm. No? Straight pieces? One more we'll do. Thank you very much. We'll go like this. I just need some downy boys. And that looks good. And then I also need to do. Hack? Hack? I guess I can't hack some of these guys. Even though he was shocked. Okay. Bit of a bummer. Really? Now I can. I don't know what the difference is. I'll be... Maybe I just gotta get there fast enough. That was not clear to me what was different about that. That made it hackable. But there you go. The important thing is... We got there in the end. I guess. Oh, rup, up, 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 um, and we need a one more of those, and the uh, hacking is complete. Rebus is my opinion on the upgrade system. Okay, it's weird. I feel what you mean. It's very of that era, but I'm wary to call it outdated because it's very inspired by older immersive sims that had better upgrade systems. I get you. Oh my god. I mean, we got, we we have to play the hacking mini game every six feet. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. At least it's not like a quick time event or something. Like it could be worse. I'm gonna lose this though. F me. F me. F me. Come on, quick. How close was that? Sacre bleu! The water. It is in here. Perfect. Sam the Geek says, this is why it feels dated. And Rango says, like, not so good systems from games that didn't age poorly in those aspects. Oh, and Sam the Geek says, same minigame forever? Oh, that is a little bit too, yeah. Oh, what's on the menu? Pecan pie, bread pudding, honey rum cake, chocolate. I don't like the liberal use of quotation marks on that menu. Um, seems dicey. Gonna be real with you. I think even things like the health system, I mean, is is very of the time. Which I like. I prefer, you know, for instance, not having regenerating health. And having to kind of ration healing items and stuff and buying them at your own pace. But that was very much like... 
that feels like a very 2000s-y mechanic. Sam the Geek says, you just passed a chocolate cake with only one slice eaten, so it cannot have been good. True. If you're going to eat a cake, eat a whole cake. That's my advice. 1948. Okay, ready? Quick phonetic mnemonic system. 1948 is... Top. Three. Go, my Fernandos! Destroy that man. I will steal his drugs. Perfect. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. I was like, did they obliterate him? Soulfinder says, when I baked all the time, carrot cake was my favorite to make. That was my bragging recipe. I feel like carrot cake is a great recipe because it feels like one step of, like past. Like, if you learned one recipe of baked goods, it probably wouldn't be carrot cake. And so if somebody knows how to make carrot cake, I'm like, okay, this person is at least a moderately serious baker. That's my carrot cake take. Sam the Geek says, 1948 is machine gun fire in the distance. No, it's uh, it's too brief. So imagine we're looking, we're underwater, we're looking at like a reef, and all of the like, you know, concrete or whatever parts of the reef, they're all little tubey boys. Too brief. Or too brief, as in not long enough. Might also be, you could pick your favorite. No, but it's the whole linear adventure game thing I almost want to say is of the era, but it's still the thing. I just... Oh, it's still the thing. Yeah, today. I agree. I still want to play modern AAA games apart from the cool uh, open world ones. Yeah. Agreed. Linear linear games tend to still be the bee's knees. Hello. Where is she? Where are you running from? Is there something dangerous here? Sam the Geek says the mnemonic has to be Dewey defeats Truman. Is that what happened in 1948? That sounds right to me. By happened, you, you know, I mean didn't happen. Okay, somebody's upstairs. Drink some Merlot. Oh, that's sad. Wait, was that enough stuff? We just need one more chlorophyll solution. A cult of teleporting splicers stole her stock and may still be carrying it. So we have to find those particular teleporting enemies. Interesting. Bit of a bummer. I don't know where we can... I guess we'll just poke around until we find another one. Oh, there's a big daddy here. Hello. Oh, that was him! Right, the Houdini splicer? Wait, does he have the thing? Oh, we're set. We got everything. Mercy, we did it. Do you have all the components for the Lazarus Spectre yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do, best head to a crafting station. Then head back to Langford's Lab. All right, I know where one of those is. Which is brew in the mister. Ooh, which is brew. Rangwet says, on the health system, it's kind of bad to me. Now being on the hardest difficulty, it's a different experience than you, but it just feels like I either have too much or I hit a hard part and they run out and don't matter. I get, I know what you mean. We, we did hit a part earlier where we just kept dying in the loop. And it was like, well, whatever. I guess I'll just keep coming back with a little bit of health. Um, and Rangwet says, though the death problem is the real problem here, because death doesn't do anything. Yeah, and you don't want to waste heals and stuff because you can slowly just whittle them down. Yep, we fought a big daddy exactly that way the other day. And John Spider says, A plus home star voice. Ah, thank you. Yes, nailed it. I'm sure. Why do you guys have so much water down here? Why do I have two wrenches? 
Nope, nope, no director's commentary. Photographer's eye. Uh, once you've spliced this invaluable tonic, you'll get the picture. Okay. Let's just put it in instead of wrench jockey. Okay, so is there a little girl here? No, there's just a... A woman's voice. Stop this. Remember, says, I thought three, uh, fought three big daddies like that in a row, like that. Oh, because they first encountered the sister, disappeared twice, and they respawned. It's not right. Some film. Okay, so I have the photographer's eye, but we don't actually know what it does. They kind of didn't. Well, maybe they'll tell me here. Every research... Oh, maybe it just makes me better at taking pictures. We're not really doing that. I mean, probably we should be. But let's just make our wrench better. Let's try to take a picture of this big daddy. Do we get multiple subjects? Let's see. Hopefully he doesn't get mad at us for taking this picture. Oh, shoot. Okay, well that guy exploded. Multiple subjects. Camera bot? Oh. Alright, let's go find the bot shut off thingy. Sorry, just gonna take a look here. We gotta go upstairs. Okay. Uh, are the stairs right behind me? Or to my left? Please stop killing me. There's, the time for this. There's the U invent. Bot shut off, bot shut off. I guess we can get a Fernando or two for free here, which is sort of something. Uh, just send it over, that's fine. Yeah, this is almost, if not exactly the same puzzle we've seen before. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Ruga says, let me tell you, so you know how much health the big daddies, you know how much health the big daddies have in their bullshit attacks. Well, that health times 10, it's absurd, and the two shot me, but they never shot one, even... Uh, but they can never shoot, uh, they can never one-shot, even if the math adds up. Oh, is it just a game mechanic that they never one-shot you? That's interesting. The uh, Lazarus elixir. And that's it. That's all I want. Armor-piercing auto rounds. Automatic hack tool. Make that. Yeah, first hit from a big daddy can never be lethal. Me on one health, not dying from a rush. Alright. Central misting control, you say. I'll just follow this arrow that's appeared on my map. Hello, sir. Right, we've been here. A woman's voice in my ear just said, Ah, Mr. Cohen. Who? Where is she? Ringwood says, but it can't. It kind of feels pointless because their first attack is always the attack that slows you down, which I think is impossible to avoid. I guess we haven't really... We've been kind of, you know, being, being very dorky the way that we fight big daddies, like laying down mines and stuff. Excuse me. Oh, 
It's a bit alarming. Did this ever go out? Quick, beat the fire out. Okay, a lot's happening over there, but we're just gonna ignore it. Not my problem. Frankly. Let's go to the central gassy device. I can't carry any more of the buckshot. Okay. Where is it on for? Oh, am I here? Gas device. Julie, my dear, I am oh, they have more bee juice. You want to spend time with my honeybee? Let's um, uh, let's save real quick. Rainbow says my way is using a lot of bullets. Realize I only took off 20% of their health with most of my bullets and slowly kill them with my wrench. Seems like it would work. Alright, we're back to Arcadia. My days in beekeeping school, blah, 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 saying something nobody will listen to. Uh, Rainbow says, a good idea in most areas apparently has two big daddies, so use the mind control skill on one and make them fight. That is a good, that is a good time. Your friend, not Dave. Okay. Does sound pretty fun. Oh, we get a free Fernando right off the bat. But I do have to do the same puzzle again. Okay, that's fine. I know that this is, like, pretty optional, and I could probably just be skipping a lot of these, but... Then what would I complain about, you know? So that's why we're here. Good. Another one? Another one! What time is it? Cool. Just checking. Same puzzle again. Love it. Thank you for that. But Peter, the puzzle's not exactly the same, it's a little bit different! It's the same. It's the same puzzle. I remember it says, also the big daddy I recently got to with the gun is so much better. It's way easier to dodge the gun than the melee dashes. I believe that. Why? Why is there already a security alert? I just walked into this room. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's super annoying, but okay. Um, where are we going? And we got to run a thousand miles. Just turn around, just leave. I'm out. I can't leave? I'm just going to try that one again. Brogy Frenzy says, what is your favorite nut? Oh, man. You know, it's not going to be a popular answer. But I do love a cashew. If I'm if I'm being real, um, I I guess that's a legume, per potentially, and not a nut. But they're they're good. I am a. Not everybody likes them, but I do. What about you, Chad? What are your favorite nuts? Sound off in the comments or chat for me to see. Should we have a nut tier list? Nice, Pierogi Frenzy. Pierogi Frenzy says, my favorite is D's, Lamau, gotcha. Uh, and Sam the Geek says, everyone calls cashews nuts, even if they're actually beans? Stop, you're rocking my world. I despise beans. A cashew is a bean this whole time? Okay. Where's the camera? There's not even a camera here! Why did the alarm go off as soon as we walked in then? Oh my god, that's so annoying. Legumes. Oh, are legumes beans? I guess that makes sense. Evocator says, have you ever seen a cashew fruit? Uh, I know they grow in a weird way. I don't remember what it is, though. Let's let me review cashew growing. Um, cashew 
plant. Isn't it? Yeah! That is not the what I expected. That is a very weird way for a cashew to grow. Cashews, get your shit together. That's weird. I don't like this. It's not right. You're a little hanging thing on the bottom of a fruit? Why? Don't do that anymore. It's, we don't need this. We've got enough going on, cashews. We don't need this. On top of everything else. Um, okay. Upsetting. My, my whole day is ruined. This is my territory! Whoa, 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 whoa. What is... Low-hanging fruit. Natch. Nice. Even if it's as bad. <laughs> Credit to M. Don't blame other people for what you're doing. Throw an M right under the bus. Hello, boys. Um, okay, I'm still following the arrow. Right. Wait, why did the alarm go off when we came in here? Fertilizer. Not delicious. Rangwitz is my question, chat. You lived in Rapture, what would your business be? And what would be its effed up twist? Sam the Geek says M. I will gladly and proudly claim it. All right, all right, that's fair. Evocator says game is kind of old and buggy. Maybe that is why. Maybe it was on before or something? I don't know. I don't know. I need a lean button. What's going on in here? Extremely spooky vibes. Some wine. Is this a trap? Am I going to turn around and there's guys here to kill me? There is. Have these candles at least? Aha! An elixir. Got it. And a steamer trunk. Full of nothing. Good. Uh Evil Care says maybe your friend helicopters killed it? Maybe, maybe. And Giant Spatch says selling ramps, but they're just inclines. <laughs> but they're only in season one month a year. Uh and Sandy Geek says my business would be selling chips, except they're made from people! All chips are made from people. Do you not know that? Yeah, no, that's already the case. Fried fingers. And Brokey Friend says, I sell dumplings, but they drive you into a murderous range. Again, this is already the case. Um, for me, at least. And Evil Care says, I sell bread that's super good, but bone meal is a major ingredient. That I do like. Bone meal bread. It's gluten free. Not vegan, though. But, you know, you can't have everything. Nope. This camera's on my team. Stanley Geek says gluten free. I'll take a loaf. There you go. I'm glad we can bring people together with small businesses on this channel. And Rangoet says, uh, my answer, well, I've recently been playing Space Station 13, and any of my stories from that could be it. Selling communication services, but I slowly start to go insane about messages from the higher realms, start connecting people to some weird stations and places. I do like the idea of being like a, an operator at like a switchboard or something, but just just getting real crazy about it. Oh, an evocator says, oh, it's not anything weird. I foraged the bones. That's not so bad. I guess there would be a lot of bones around in the post-apocalypse. Just making good use of them. To the main gas device. It's a bit weird that they gave me, like, the best superpower 
is like the first one I got. Maybe I'm just leaning on it more than I should be, but it really just seems way too good to be able to just stun any of the basic enemies. It seems very strong, is all. Put bees in the thing. The splicers out. Okay. We're just gonna shock these people and just keep moving. Hello. Uh, don't like that. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Arrow says, seal the doors. I've done it. Ow. That did not buy time very much at all. How did he come through? Am I supposed to be, like, going somewhere? That the new mode delivery. Oh, wait. Nice. Good pick. Hello. We've got our turrets up here too. That's going great. I think getting shot by our own turret is going to be one of the big days up here. The evil character says low Ryan Green skip, but I don't quite know what that means. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't want to shoot the big daddy by accident. Shoot! Actually, that might not be so bad. What do I do? Am I leaving? What are we doing here? We're on a timer. Okay, cool. Any first aid kits around here? Ah, great. Halfway there. Low health, I admit, but could be worse. This 
this what I'm supposed to be doing? Shit! <laughs> Let me just catch a mine right to the face. Good. Okay, we are in trouble now. Yeah. Should have saved when we were halfway through. Oh! No, we don't even need to. That's right, we can just do this forever. Just enemies screaming and running around in the distance. I'm sure whatever's going on is fine. Are you supposed to be doing more? The timer keeps stopping. Well, the timer is the enemies. You mean the little counter on the side? That's like the security alarm. Because I hacked the security camera. Or is there another timer that I'm not noticing? Okay, the big daddy's on my team again. That's good. Let's do some shopping. Some coffee? Like setting up mines and stuff. Sure. Yeah, probably. I don't know, this seems like it's working okay. Hit the damn switch. Alright, go hit the switch. Oh, I fixed the trees! Evo Carter says using the Big Daddy is clutch. Yeah, seems good. Uh, Rainbow says, IDK what that timer is. The one on the left? I think that's how long my weird security robot friends will help me out. Look out the window. Oh, it's beautiful! This person's very annoying, huh? Can I just ignore them? Can I just leave? Save! Yep, 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 yep. Good call. But the timer kept resetting. Maybe somebody was setting off the alarm again? I don't know. I'm not quite sure how that mechanic is supposed to work. Leave me alone, annoying teleporting enemy. I'm not interacting with you. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not interested. Beautiful trees, looking good. Why are you so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a man from his soul? You're not CIA, are you? You belong to Atlas, the one roach I can't seem to exterminate. Don't worry, I just need time to find the proper poison. All right, we'll see you soon. Uh, where are we going? Fort? Frolic? I think that's the only place we haven't been. Goals? I... Okay. We'll go to Fort Frolic, I guess. Because the, the furthest one down? Alright, so we got the trees fixed. Now everybody's going to be able to breathe down here, which they are so obsessed with. Um, and then that is good. We're playing the game. We're doing it. That's my update on the story. Quick story update. We're playing the game, comma, we're doing it. You're almost there. The spear to Ryan is up on ahead. Ryan's handed the keys to Fort Frolic over. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, gambling's awesome. Cohen's an artist as some. Evocator says, do not breathe the oxygen lest you become addicted. It's true, even one breath can be enough to, to get you addicted. I think we want to invent. Heat seeking RPG. Wow, we can make a bunch of crap here. Tripwire bolts for the crossbow. I don't know that I have a crossbow. Nor do I think that I need one if I'm being totally real with you. Booze Hound 1. Drinking alcohol restores a small amount of Eve rather than draining it. That sounds good. Oh, so I can make some of these upgrades now. That's kind of cool. Rainbow says, how does Andrew not hear Atlas speaking to us? It's that same radio thingy. Or maybe he does and it just doesn't matter. Maybe that's how the escapes keep getting destroyed. Oh my god. 
We got a mole. Search the trash. A mole wouldn't search the trash. A rat would search the trash. <gasps> He's beautiful. Okay. Moving along. Oh, shoot. I did a crime. Quick. Stop it. That's kind of fun. Uh, forward, and then it's on my right. Okay. New friend! True! And Ranglet says, how does Andrew- uh, Oh, we already saw that. Yeah, let's get a new friend. One free friend. Not free. We had to pay to turn off the alarm. But, but slightly free. Slightly, lightly free adjacent. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nice! Rise, Fernando! I'm putting on your tunes. Robot says, do you think Atlas shrugs at one point? That is where his name is from, after all. Could be. Oh my god. It's shaped just like that place. So where am I? I'm in Fort Frolic. I'm way over here. Okay. Interesting. No! <laughs> Evocator says, common misconception. Shrugs is the doctor. Checks out. Uh, here we are at the Rapture Metro. There's curtains extending, which I'm not sure I'm crazy about. Ah, that's it. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Da, 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 da. Time was, you could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to Let's watch the show. And hello to an evening. Ignore the rabbit mask. Everything is fun. Agreed. Okay. Let's go find Sander Cohen. No, I haven't seen a sign of oh. real life down here in months. Let's see if you're just another Johnny come lately. Something more delicious. This is where we're gonna get the crossbow. Punk. Report me, you, you want another? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, it's a great picture. Um, Rebecca says, I know this is the iconic section. And Evil Kid says, oh yeah, new idea. I make movies, but the actors are people. And Unwiseber says, nice pick. Thank you. Now I can use spicer organs. Can be used like first aid kits. <laughs> I want to wear his mask. Then I'll blend in. Oh, I'm out of the blue juice? No. Which is my camera again? Let's take more pictures. It's kind of fun. Rebecca says, there was the theater where actors actually got injured and ended up dying once, apparently. Was that Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark? Ah! Timely reference. Ah! I meant IRL, lol. Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark was IRL. 
And people did get injured. <laughs> These guys just gonna show up forever. What's the deal here? Oh. IDK, what that is? It was the Spider-Man musical, which was famously fraught. Oh, hey, there's a thing up there. Where are my manners? Come in! Come in! Sander Cohen awaits you at the Fleet Hall. Will these doors open now? On what? It says Spider-Man is a menace! Ugh. We need a game where you play... Where you manage the Daily Planet and you play as J. Jonah Jameson. And it's like a tycoon game. Make it! Marvel, make it. I know you have the money. Daily Bugle! Welcome to Fort Exactly. Falling. No need to thank me for jamming the transmissions of those boors, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes, the artist knows there is richer earth to do. Cheat. For example, I test you. But for a reason, I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies. Send the Geek says Daily Planet is Superman's and Lois Lane's and Jimmy Olsen's employer. Did I say the Daily Planet? I meant the Daily Bugle. That's correct. Man, when was the last time you had bugles? You know, the little, little chippies? You put them on your fingers to make it pretend you have long fingernails? You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I mean. This is a terrible game. Uh, or minigame, anyway. Rengar says, in fairness, wasn't the vulture whole thing to stop the upper class and get more people into the working class? I mean, now Spider-Man looks like a menace unwise. Now Spider-Man looks like a menace unwise, bird. When I read the original Spider-Man, uh... <laughs> Brogy friend, this is no joke, my wedding night. What to? What to? Um, I thought the Vulture's thing was that he was jealous of young people because he was old. Isn't that? I have the original. I actually, I'll be right back. Because um, I have a reprint of the first comic where the Vulture appeared. We'll take a look. We ate bugles. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's fair. That's awesome. Oh, PRB. We should probably pause it in a way where, like, there's music playing, I'm realizing. Oh, there is music. I see desktop audio is still jamming. A little bit. There's some. Uh, Unwise re redeemed today's featured hero clicks. Uh, oh, and Ringwood says, the newer film I met, The Vulture, is like that. I gotcha, yeah. Uh, and Sound Geek says this website is free. And Soul Foundry says, ooh, if we're taking a break, we should also do, indeed, let's take a quick break and we'll look at today's featured hero clicks. Bam! Cool. Today's up. Oh, I unpaused the game somehow. Today's featured hero clicks is uh, Captain Boomerang. Now I think we've seen a different Captain Boomerang sculpt before, uh, but I really like this one. He's got a little scarf, not a little scarf. He's got a huge scarf. He's got his boomerang. If you look on his back, he's got two more little boomerangs there. He looks great. This Captain Boomerang, ten out of ten, honestly. Um, he also. What else do we need to know about him? Oh, we need to know how tall he is. Soul Foundry says, I like him a lot. It's just a good pose, too. Holding up the boomerang with the scarf blowing in the wind. Um, if we compare him to the standard size Karen, we can see that they're just about the same size. And Sam the Geek says, that scarf is not going to keep him warm in this weather. Yeah, he's going to need to do more than that. I mean, he's got a long coat, but it doesn't look particularly well insulated. Um, yeah, he's just about the same size as our standard size Karen. How tall is Karen? That's a good question. Um... <laughs> measures with fingers like that will help we might be able to look up her height this is the kind of thing that that sometimes will just be on like you know uh, superhero wikis let's take a look 
Um, Karen was 5'9", right? Is that what we said? That sounds right, actually, weirdly enough. Uh, okay, we're going to say Karen Page. Oh, she's from Daredevil? Karen Page. No, I don't want Wikipedia. I need a better Pedia than this. Marvel Cinematic Universe Pedia is also not good enough. I guess we could say... God, that is a long... That is a long time to be in labor. Date of birth, 1984 to 1986. That's brutal. <laughs> her poor mother. Um, her status is alive. That's good. No, but how do I find out, not the cinematic universe, the, the, the comic book of births in comics? Karen Page, how tall are you? 5'7". She's 5'7 and weighs 125 pounds. What's her BMI? <laughs> we can figure it out. Um, Ramos is also on wikis. Have you seen the Star Wars Transformers page of the Star Wars uh, Transformers wiki? It has some great quotations of questionable legitimacy. All right, we'll take a look real quick. Star Wars Transformers. Is there Star Wars TFW wiki? I did not know that was a thing. Is a crossover. Oh, I do remember. This has activated a distant memory. What year was this? These must have been in like the late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, no, the mid 2000s. Well, I was still watching cartoons in 2005. Also, today. Um, so, so it's fine. It's fine that I remember this. How come there's no Jar Jar Binks? Go back and fix this. Uh, let's see Darth Vader. He says... Upon seeing Barbecue and his heat-resistant equipment, Shipwreck wondered when G.I. Joe had recruited Darth Vader. Wait, so he was... He was in the Transformers universe. A tactics. Have you guys seen Star Wars A Tactics before? We might need to take a look at that sometime. We're not going to look at it today, but I've got some Star Wars A Tactics figures around here somewhere. Look at the Obi-Wan one under... Or Darth Vader. The quotes under the images are the good ones. Damn kids, get off my lawn! What kind of egomaniac has the ships he pilots made to look just like him? Spoilers, this ship doesn't have... Oh, that kind of spoilers. Nice. Wow, these are really... Why? Great, now the versus Unicron debates will never end. And the Obi-Wan one is, I am scared. I'm not the droid you're looking for. At last, the circle is now complete. Hello there. Oh, I'm not brave enough for... Okay, so some of these are Obi-Wan quotes. This is very weird, though. I'm surprised that this was a, a real crossover. Okay, what were we doing? Does anybody remember what we're doing on this channel? Play, besides playing Bioshock. Don't say playing Bioshock because I remember that. Oh, we were going to look at the original Spider-Man comic. Okay. All right. We are gonna we got this big bunch of comics here. We're going to slap that down there. We're going to find the Spider-Man comic that we're interested in here. Oh, I've got them here on top. That's great. All right. So these are reprints. Of the original, should we go to the big camera for this? We probably should. I don't have a hotkey for that on my little thingy. Um, these are reprints of the original Spider-Man comics that were uh, in my newspaper when I was growing up. They, they printed a, a whole bunch of them uh, in the Sunday issue for like a year or more, maybe. Uh, so what we need to see is the Vulture. Here's the first appearance of the Vulture. As you can see, these comics were not very long. Um, and uh, let's just see if we can... do 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 Let's say he steals diamonds. J. Jonah Jameson is in here. Well, I don't know. But the point is he definitely is he's jealous of the young. That's, and he steals diamonds, and he's the vulture, and I have the comic, and that's why I'm cool. Great. Nailed it. Um, Rangoet says there's multiple pages on different burgers on the Transformers wiki. And apparently in the Transformers universe, Ireland is part of North America. We should just incorporate them in North America. I, I think that would be a good move, honestly. Uh, okay, let's play Bioshock. We looked at the comic, we talked about the Vulture, we looked at the Vulture, we talked about a tactics, but we didn't look at a tactics, but we'll do that, we'll put a pin in that, we'll do that another time. To the Fleet Hall! Relocate the whole of Ireland? Why not? How hard could it be? Just do it. Maybe just Northern Ireland to North America? That would, that there would be like a synergy between the names that way. Don't do this. Where's the thing? Who sees it? Get out of the way, robot! Robot, get out of the way! Oh my God, that's so annoying. He flew right in the way. 
Megwan says, I'm sure they'll be happy to leave us, but America is not much better. Yeah. No, yeah, I get that. <laughs> At least vis a vis the America not being much better part. Friendly fire! Fernando, right in my way. Will he recover? Fernando, we I gotta give him mouth to mouth. He's alive, it worked! Alright, we gotta loot 100 things? Okay. Did we ever decide what these things are? They're all over the place. I'm just gonna poke around a little bit. Just get a lay of the land here. Oh, guitar. Rangwood says, you know Piotr is losing it a bit when it's time for mouth to mouth on a robot. Listen, whatever it takes. He's my main man. The Ferdandinator. Rogi Friend says, this is almost as scary as a real cruise ship casino. I don't, I've never been on like a cruise like that. TBH. I don't know if I would, would want to. It does seem scary. I just feel like I would get Legionnaire's disease the second that I walked on board. I feel like that's a thing that I don't want to be a part of. Cruise ship Legionnaire's outbreak. I mean. Alright. Ale. We love it. It's a glass door! Alright. Pow. Uh, Ringo says another idea. I'm a casino owner here, but all the games are rigged. It's an effed up twist, although not exactly fictional. The weird thing about casinos is the games don't really have to be rigged. They can be unfair and people will still play them. Uh, desperate people and, and addicted people. Compulsive gamblers, you know. True. And somebody says, I've gone down the modern cruise ship wreck, uh, wreck well hole. Some are really scary. Cruise ship wrecks? That actually does sound extra terrifying. Okay, I don't know what to do. Um, the arrow's pointing me endlessly this way. The door is locked. Use your eyes, PD. Look around. Understand what you need to do. Was there a lever somewhere? I can drink this thermos. That has not helped. You ever played uh, Grim Fandango, by the way? I have not played it. I played some of those other um, LucasArts adventure games, but never Grim Fandango. Is there something I'm missing here? Could you possibly think I would meet with my public now when I'm preparing unbelievable? <gasps> we can just see a shadow. He's in there. He's right there! Uh, Rangwet says, just randomly reminded me in that where you rigged your casino game and the cop tries to arrest you after losing. And otherwise, this is that silver cage thing was an elevator? I remember that. Yeah, that is a good point. Let's take a closer look at that again. Yeah, I forgot about those buttons there. Brogy Frenzy says, watch out, you pigeons, it's Robert Frost. God, I love Grim Fandango. Oh, I remember this reference, actually. I think I learned it from you, though, Brogy Frenzy. Lots going on. Go, my Fernandos. Where did those guys come from, though? Mm. Very video gamey. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but... Fernando, get in here with me. That's what you, you make the balloon animal, right? No. Evil Kater says, I think you just had to trigger that event, maybe. Well, I, I pressed the button on the elevator, and that triggered those guys coming over. Okay, he was here, but we missed him. He's not here anymore. Oh, no, he's in the next... Uh, 
Uh, we killed Come Kyle Fitzpatrick. Which is good. Death. The burden of the artist is to capture the balloon animal. And Proggy Friends says I legit teared up at the CM end of that game. Fitzpatrick here on the stage. Kyle, no! Take him as he is now. So I may remember. And Rangwet says, I also like the part in Grim Fandango where the bees can't remember the communist slogan. You gotta give them the communist manifesto to protest. Photograph the dead pianist. Why? Why am I just gonna do what this guy tells me to do? Ifrir <laughs> says, Fyodor, I can't believe you killed Kyle, our friend. Yeah, we're not taking a picture of a dead Fitzpatrick. I don't have to do things for this guy. Is he still here? Yes. Weirdly. I guess I do have to do it. Why? Because the bad guy told me to do it? We're out of here. I'm gonna live my own life in these corridors. Well, I guess we gotta take a picture of Kyle. Let's go get it. Giant Splash says dot 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 dot. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna go do it. A bit dumb. I see no reason for this, but we're doing it. Well, that's new. Shoot. Okay, you're gonna have to kill the other turret, turret. That's your job. Sure. No wait. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Let's do some of this. Oh, sweet mercy. Uh, we might have to wiggle up and down? No, we're good. Froggy Frenzy says, but they went to torrent sc uh, turret school together. True. It's friend against friend, unfortunately. Maybe? More hacking minigames for those who love them. Please. Oh my god. I'm so fucking sick of this. Oh, the mini game. We should have just we should have just used the auto hack. Oh yeah. Thank you, Rango. That's just what we needed. Should have taken a photo when you were told. I guess so. Jeez. Poor Zivlor, the Trespasser Destroyer 11. Oh, was that his name? Oh, poor guy. Yeah, he just got owned by his friend. The guy that I, I tried to convert to my team did not have a good time. All right, all right, all right. We'll help this one. Rangoth says, I hope we can get a picture of Andrew Ryan. Could be fun. Why not? I don't really care about him. I'm gonna be real with you. The, this game is not... I mean, I know that I'm not, like, paying the most attention that I could be, but this game has not really done a lot to make me interested in the plot. Like, I know we're trying to leave here, I guess. I, I don't know. It just doesn't seem very important. Like, it doesn't seem like what we're doing, going deeper and deeper into this complex, is, you know aligned with our goal of leaving this place. It doesn't feel like there's a strong reason for us to do any of this. Anyway, whatever, we're here. Please. Giant Spatcher says, uh, uh, and John Spatcher says, I'm, I hope, I'm so excited you somehow missed all the early 2000s formal game criticism. Bioshock, the series that co coined the term ludonarrative dissonance. True, I guess. Maybe I'm being, maybe I'm taking it a little too seriously. Why do we have a camera? Uh, not clear. There was, they told us, but I forgot. 
Silver says, Lol, you keep skipping the voice lore things. They tell you about the rooms you're traveling through. I know, I know. And uh, Rangwats is not going to lie. Andrew Ryan feels kind of weak. Like his influence is not uh, too felt past the first area. Well, he's, he's talking into my ear. That's something. Is that something? It's something. I'm so sorry. Zivlor, the trespasser destroyer number 11. Sam the Geek says, everything before Spec Ops The Line just has plot. No, man. I played I played games with plot. I played Second Sight on the GameCube. I played um, Dead to Rights Retribution on the GameCube. I played... I want to say... There's got to be a third game with a plot that I've played. But I think those are the only two. Uh, Rainbow's okay, not weak. He isn't not weak. He isn't that bad. I guess those are the only two games I played with plots in them before uh, you know, the PS4. Giant Spatter says, Bioshock has like the OG annoying gamer meme before the cake is a lie. Oh, how fun. Well keep our eyes peeled for it. And Wisebird says the good life. Eternal Darkness is exactly the one I was looking for. I've got that around here somewhere. Um, yeah, Eternal Darkness. Oh, good game. Um, the Good Life is has a fantastic plot, but it was, I think, after Bioshock. Oh, early games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got to do this stupid thing for no reason. Let's do it. No. Kyle's the chair, right? Zumbinis is a great plot. I'm so offended, chat. Uh, and Froggy Frenzy says, System shock, you myopic ding-dongs. True. Why? Sam the Geek says, hey, don't insult my need for glasses. I would never. All right, I guess we're gonna go put this picture in the atrium. Because we just do everything this guy says. Sam the Geek says, Fallout also, has incredible wor uh, Fallout also has incredible world building, but not a lot of plot. Hmm. I can't believe you guys let me sneak Dead to Rights Retribution past you. I guess that game sort of has a plot. I know why you've come, little boy. You've your own canvas. One you'll paint the blood of a man I once loved. Okay. Yes, I'll send you to Ryan. But first, you must be part of my masterpiece. I'm in the atrium. Go to the atrium. Hurry now. My muse is a fickle bitch with a very short attention span. Can I put in the code? Do you see it? When I am dust. Let me put in the code. This is what they'll point to. My Rangwood says I played New Vegas, loved it, but haven't played the other two yet. Masterpiece. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Touch it. Let me put in the code. Code. Code goes in. You can put in the code now. Is it broken? Or am I not actually supposed to be able to get the upgrade that's in here? Brogy Frenzy says, Planescape Torment was my high bar for like 15 years! And Sam the Geek says, it's very hard for open world games to actually create linear narrative plots. That's true, that's true. We saw that even when we tried to make a game that was sort of non-linear. Uh, in the last game jam. It was very hard just to keep track of, like, well, what if the player does things in this order, or that order, or another order? There he is. It's Kyle. The chair. This is just the moment of conception. Out in this place, there are three men. All former disciples of mine, all connected by a common thread. Betrayal. But. Find them, little more, and immortalize their mortality in my quadratic. Go. 
Once they've been sent to their Senator Cohen stole my idea, says Evocator. He's making bone bread? Are these people in wax? Oh, there's the crossbow. I'm going with him. Uh, tell you what, we just got the crossbow. This seems like a good place to uh, leave this for tonight. We just got a new quest. We'll run around and fight a bunch of, uh, you know, hunt down three dudes or whatever. Uh, that can be that can be later. Um, so, uh, uh, Evocator says, it's people, Piotr, people! And Giant Spatch says, by buying this paint, you attest you are not Sander Cohen. I can't, I can't, I can't promise that. Um, yeah, let's let's wrap this up. Surprise, get it? Surprise. Uh, let's wrap this up here for tonight, and we'll be back tomorrow with more of this from 8 to 10 Eastern Standard Time. Great, we'll be back with more Bioshock. I guess that counts as an outro. If you watch any of this stream live tonight, thank you so much for watching live. Oh, it's a lot of fun having uh, a lot of people in chat today. Uh, talking about nuts, talking about game, old games, everything else. Uh, if you watch this as a recording or on YouTube, thank you so much for watching that way too. And until next time, I will see you later.